So today we're going to talk about the Blue Eddy, my solar systems. So as you can see, in front of you is a Blue Eddy 1500, and here is a Blue Eddy 500. So this 1500 is 1500 watts surge, only 1000 watts usable. The 500 is the same thing, 500 watt surge, 300 watt usable. Uh, as you can see, right here, I'm going to show you this. I have three 100 watt energy panels. They each have their own wire, and then they come into these three ways. You plug those in, so that joins all of the the uh, three panels, and this is the the uh, stuff, uh, the cord from the Blue Eddy that turns down and goes. And there you go, you feed it right in, right there, into the Blue Eddy. Now on this one, this one, the back has where you fill it up. But if you look at this one, it's the front. Okay, so I'm going to talk about these two pieces of equipment in my own terms because I'm not an expert. Uh, I've been trying to learn solar. I, I do the best I can, but do I understand it? No. But I do understand these systems. I did study, uh, I got this Blue Eddy, was on sale for $999. Uh, bought it a little while back. And this Blue Eddy was on sale when I got it for $369. The prices have gone up, but that's what I paid. So, you all know what these things do, but um, I'm going to show you how I understand them. Okay, so we're going to come over here, and we're going to look at this. And if we look here, you will see bars. So right now it's charging. you got 127 watts going in. Nothing is being pulled off. My uh, refrigerator is connected right here, and this is the input cord. Um, but it doesn't run all the time. It only runs once in a while, and it uses 38 to 42 um, watts. And um, you'll notice I only have two of these lit up because I have the DC on, because that's the only thing plugged in. I don't have any AC being pulled out right now, so I don't have that on because I don't want to use the inverter inside. Okay? Oh, so it looks like I, this is kind of dirty. Oh, well. Anyway, I do have, I can turn, once I turn that on, then I can run a little fan or anything else. I have an extension cord here from the back. All right. So, on this 1500, I go by bars. Okay? You saw two bars, and you saw the bars blinking up to three. There are five bars on each one of these units. There's a thousand watts, usable watts, in the 1500. You divide that by five and you get 200 watts an hour is what you can use. So, my fridge only pulls 38 to 42 watts, maybe twice for maybe three or four minutes in an hour. So roughly, I can get out of the 1500 watts about five day, four to five days. I use about a bar a day, depending on what I run. I do run a little fan every night, and it takes 10 watts. And I run it probably from six o'clock in the evening till six or seven in the morning. So you figure that one out. Um, so. With no sun, usually, you know, at night, uh, I'll have three bars, usually in the morning. This morning, I didn't get it fully charged yesterday. So, um, and I don't have the 300 watts attached, only 200 right now. I, I've got to attach the third panel. So it's not pulling as many watts with a 300 watt panel, um, or the three 100 watt panels, I can get between 160 and 180 watts. Now that's full sun in the afternoon. Morning sun, 
with what I have right now, which is 200 watts, I'm only getting maybe 60 or 70 watts. It starts out at 25 and by 9 it's uh, 45 by 10. You're looking at 64 to 74 watts. By a, a 12, then I'm looking at about 140, 150 watts. And that's what I get out of two panels. But I do have three. I just have to connect them. So I start the little one. I get in full sun with a slant where I park so that the back is kind of slanted down so that the sun hits it more. And in the morning, I start about 6 a.m. whenever the sun comes up, charging the small one. By 11, I stop charging the small one. It's usually full. But again, I go by bars. You can see I have three bars on this one. So I'm only at three bars, but that'll last me a day and a half if I don't charge it. And I'll charge it again tomorrow. So you can see the three bars. There's a total of five. Okay. <clears throat> so depending on how many watts, etc., etc., then um, I'm getting depends on how short the time. With the 300 watts, it doesn't take very long to charge up the small one or the big one. 200 watts, it takes all day. So, that's the, the big one, okay? Again, I divide the wattage by the bars. And how many bars I have, I figure out how many hours that's going to last each bar. So, that's how I work, and that's how I figure my solar, depending on my usage. I'm not a complicated person, so please understand, this is how I understand it, how I use it. Because it's, it's not, the screen is not different. So just because I want it to be different, oh, I wish it said percentages, that's not the way it works. It's not showing percentages. So i got to figure out on my own terms how I can make this last and use it. Now... The 300, the 300 uh, watt is 500 watts, but 500 watt surge, 300 watt usable. Um, that's 60. <coughs> <coughs> sorry, that's 60 watts an hour. I only run my phones and my little TV, which I will make a video on the TV and my DVD and how I've got that connected, and um, I'll show that to you. But as you can see, the Blue Eddie's got its. It's, um, I mean, I can plug in my little air conditioner, not air conditioner, evaporator, and it only takes 10 watts. I can put this into the electrical here. I don't, um, but I have run it. Um, you see everything on here. It's all been explained to you before. I'm just talking to you how I understand it, okay? That's how I'm talking to you, how I use it. I'm not talking to you about everything that it has because you already know. There's been enough videos out there. It's how you use it and how you figure it out in your mind, how it's going to work for you. So that's pretty basic. Um, I only run, like I said, the TV on the little one and my, charge my phones or my little fans, USB fans. That's all I use for the little one. I mean, I can use it for bigger fans. I just don't. And I can, in an emergency, if I had to, use the uh, refrigerator off of it. Wouldn't last that many hours, but I could still do it. So, that's my solar. Again, I use three 100-watt Renergy panels. I use Renergy uh, connectors. I don't use Renergy wires. I, I bought some wires from... Um, Windy Nation, because they're reasonable and you get them in a pair. Uh, I bought uh, three, five, ten foot. I uh, also bought some 25 foot thinking I would get the uh, suitcases, but the suitcases are so expensive. Oh my god. Well, these are flexible panels and they're too expensive too. So if I do anything again, I'm going to be adding just the regular solar panels somehow to the roof. But you can see my connections. You can see some of the wires coming through. Um, so you know how that works. It's pretty easy. I just move it from one to the other. Not a big deal. Um, I do have 
I did get the wires that were 10 AWG. Do not know what that means, but I think if I understood it correctly, it meant the size of the wire. So the larger, the better for the electricity to travel into. Now that's what the experts say. I haven't got a clue. I'm just listening to people saying, okay, that's, you know, that's the way it works. And like I said, I do charging by time. Early morning is for the small one. Afternoon and late afternoon is for the large one when I get the most sun. Well, thanks for watching, and you guys have a good day. Thank you so much.